This is Brian Forrester, and please pause the video if you wish to read this sign. This was previous to our trip to the now famous Gobekli Tepe. This is a site supposedly constructed by Antiochus in the first century BC. And what's of particular interest are these tunnels. There's this rather short tunnel with a cave in the back, which clearly appears to have been hand done, done with hand tools. And then there is a, a sculpture in the location of Antiochus and Heracles. And then this much, much deeper tunnel, which is actually quite incredible. Again, it appears to be hand done, or done with hand tools, but it goes several hundred feet into the bedrock and then supposedly continues on for hundreds and hundreds of more. There's steps going hundreds of feet down and then almost a slide-like area at the bottom where it just keeps going and going. There's Chester from our tour in September. And then after that, we decided to go see Mount Nemrut. And Mount Nemrut, again, supposedly was a construction done by Antiochus in the first century BC. And that is called, a, I think it's called a tumulus. So it's made up of two different terraces, the Eastern Terrace and the Western Terrace. Here we see the landscape of Turkey in the background. And climbing up hundreds and hundreds of stairs to get to the actual location, which has a number of sculptures. So this is more or less the final leg of that journey on the way up. And here we have a pyramidal structure of some kind made of large blocks, but not uh, of a megalithic nature necessarily. But then we have the impressive location at the top of Mount Nemrut, where there are a number of sculptures. You can see the heads have fallen down or were knocked down. Why they haven't been put up back in place, I don't understand, because they're actually all not really that huge. And I'm not sure who were the people who did the desecration of the site. But um, as well, unfortunately, the sculptures were not as big as I had hoped, though it's still a rather impressive site. But the main focus of these early days in Turkey in September 2019 uh, was to go to the famous Gobekli Tepe, which has only been excavated, I think, for 20 years or less. So the road there, you can see we're going through agricultural areas. It's relatively flat. And then they just finished building an on-site museum as well, of course, as a gift shop. As well as a small museum slash uh, visitor center here, which has a display of some of the artifacts. This is the actual location in Turkey where Gobekli Tepe is. And the interesting thing about it, probably the most interesting thing is it's been dated to be as old as around 11,500 years old. That would be just after the series of great cataclysms that hit the earth. And so the oldest carbon dating, and there's only been a little bit of carbon dating done on the site, again, is 11,500 years old. So obviously a lot more of radiocarbon testing should be done in order to make that number solid. So only about 1 30th of Gobekli Tepe has been excavated. We've heard that there are uh, some more excavations going on, but not uh, the amount that some would like. And they've built this large 
tent-like structure over top of Gobekli Tepe in order to protect these large limestone T-shaped blocks. Some of them are up to 20 feet tall or 6 meters and weigh approximately 10 tons. So this is a megalithic site, but there's no sign of lost ancient high technology because this is limestone, which is quite soft, and we can clearly see the hand tool marks. So what's most profound about Gobekli Tepe, if proven conclusively, is its amazing age. It's about twice as old as um, any of the other ancient sites or civilizations that we know of, and so that would make it about five to 6,000 years older than what is presumed to be the first civilization. Now nearby, in a nearby town, I believe it's called Urfa, is an excellent museum. Again, please pause on the video if you want to read this sign. And it shows this, which is presumed to be the oldest sculpture, full-size sculpture ever found. As well in this location, we have a Neolithic section. And you can see that the carving and the sculptures are actually relatively crude. So again, the Gobekli Tepe is a megalithic, quote unquote, megalithic site. It's not a site where we find examples of lost ancient high technology, as we do in Peru and Bolivia and also in uh, Egypt and other locations. But Turkey does have a great megalithic high tech, ancient high tech site called Hattusha, which I will get to in an upcoming video. And of course, the standard way that it shows that the, the stones were moved. I had heard from our guide that the quarry for the limestone is possibly 30 kilometers away, so that's impressive. But it would have obviously taken more than two men to pull a stone of this size, let alone the ones that are 10 tons or even more. And also here is a great mock-up inside the museum of exact replicas of the Gobekli Tepe stones. This gives you the great sense of scale because you're not allowed inside the Gobekli enclosure. So I was very happy to visit Gobekli Tepe. Uh, I was impressed by what ancient people did. Whether I will actually ever return again to Turkey, I'm not quite sure, because this was filmed in September of 2019, which is actually still the month as uh, of the upload of the video. And I'm more concerned in sites that show obvious lost ancient high technology uh, which this site, to me, in no way displays. In March of 2020, we'll be exploring lost ancient high technology and metaphysics of Egypt. Right after that, as an extension, we'll be going to Israel to look at evidence of lost ancient high technology, megaliths, and of course, biblical sites. In June of 2020, I'll be at Contact in the Desert at Indian Wells, California, once again. And also in June of 2020, we have our annual Inti Raimi Inca Celebration of the Sun Tour, including Machu Picchu and megalithic sites and Inca sites. In August, our annual Elongated Skulls of Peru and Bolivia. And in November 2020, our annual Explore the Mysteries of Peru and Bolivia Tour.